Hi, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I'm going to share 5 cards showcasing the latest release by Altenew. This is actually part of a blog hub, so make sure to head over to my blog, you will find the link down below, where you will find all the details about the blog hub and the giveaways. I am going to take you through the new products really quickly, just so you can uh, take a look and then I will share 5 cards using the new stamps. So in the new release there are uh, new ink colors, which is really exciting for me. You already know how much I love uh, these oval sets. So you get four new oval sets, but of course you can get them in uh, little uh, ink cubes as well as uh, separately if you wish. So the green set was called Green Valley. This is the purple one, which is called Enchanted Garden, and I will showcase it today so you can see the colors as well as the green one. There is this uh, brown one, which is called uh, Delectable Delights. And finally, the grey set, which is called Gentleman's Grey. And in terms of storage, I always like to use an elastic band ar around all those four ink pads, along with a little swatch, so I know which colors to grab. Now let's take a really quick look on all the stamp sets that have been released. So this tiny little one is called Grateful and it has an acorn. And don't underestimate these little stamp sets. This one is called Dantillion Wishes. This is a great one with a big rose that you can color in with your favorite mediums. This is a gorgeous stamp set, hand-picked bouquet, and I will showcase it today. This one with the leaves, which is called Wild Ferns, also showcased in this video today. Another gorgeous flower stamp set, which is called Engraved Flowers, and you can see the matching dice as well. I will showcase it today as well. Five of those uh, stamp sets will be made into cards. This is a lovely one, which uh, you can play around with different colors to create a, a leaf medallion. And there is a matching die set available that uh, there are two dies in the set. One cuts out only the outline and the other one cuts out the inside of the leaves as well. This is called Kind Confetti. It's perfect for birthdays and it has different stamps that you can use for your backgrounds, as well as lots of sentiments. This is called World Map and it comes with two different designs of the World Map, as well as lots of sentiments. And finally, here is a gorgeous die, which is called... Antique engravings cover die and it makes beautiful cards. You will see an example today. Now they have also came up with uh, stickers. These are rolls of stickers. Each of the roll has uh, 100 stickers on it. Some of the rolls have um, 8 designs, other have 4 designs or 3 designs. Depends on the roll uh, really. And they are perfect to put them when you close your envelopes before you send them out. And here is a close-up look on all the stickers that you can find in each and every one of these rolls. So now let's start making cards. For the first card I'm going to showcase the Antique Engravings cover die, which is absolutely a favorite from this release. So I'm going to cut it out using uh, this metallic gold cardstock. And uh, remember that uh, this is a very intricate die, so it's a good idea to cover it up at the back with double-sided tape before you cut it out. So this way you make your life easy. All you have to do at the end is just peel off the backing and you have yourself a sticker to stick everywhere you like. Another tip that I can give you is to use a metal seam for your die cutting machine. This way you will not have any problems die cutting this die. Again, this is a very intricate die and since I used the double sided tape at the back, it uh, does get quite bulky. But with uh, the metal seam and a couple of uh, runs through my big shot, I had no problem at all as you can see. So now all I have to do is to peel off the backing and I'm not going to peel it off completely. I will just do it a step at a time. So this way I will not make a mess. Remember, this is very intricate dye. It's very delicate and I need to be very, very careful. So I'm going to stick it on a piece of uh, white cardstock, which is going to be my panel, the main panel of my card. This is a white cardstock, which is four and a quarter by five and a half and it matches completely the size of my die cut. So you can see that I go step by step and I peel off a little at a time. I will make sure that I have uh, first all the border around nicely stuck. And then I'll just remove the, the main part of the sticker and stick it down. 
And the truth is that you don't really need to do any more uh, things with uh, such a gorgeous card. It looks really beautiful in uh, real life with all that gold detail on top of it. I am going to take it a step further though, just to show you different ways that you can use this die. So one way is to just leave it as it is now. I am going though to cut out the same die out of green cardstock and out of um, pink cardstock and you can go ahead and fill in all those gaps. Now just to show you how it would look, I'm not going to fill in all the gaps for this card. I want to keep it quite simple looking and I don't want to overwhelm it with color since I think it looks beautiful as it is now. So this is where I'm going to stop with this uh, technique and I'm just going to move on and add my sentiment. For the sentiment and I went with uh, white embossed on uh, uh, green cardstock and it comes from the Dantillion Wishes stamp set. I think this is such a unique die, it creates really elegant cards and here are some close-up photos on this card that I made using it. Moving on to the second card for today and I will be using the Leaf Medallion stamp set. This is packed with all those circles of uh, leaves and here you can see some of the inspiration that, in, uh, that comes in the leaflet. So you can see here if you offset it a little bit you get a totally different design which is really fun. Now there are actually five different circles including the center that you can stamp one inside the other to create this medallion but remember that you can play around, you can omit some of the circles if you like. You can go for an ombre look if you use uh, inks from the same color family from lighter to darker or from darker to lighter but for today's card I decided to go really fun and happy so I'm going to use rainbow colors. So here is my finished panel, I deliberately stamped it a little bit offset just for the fun of it, play around with the different positions to create different looks. I'm going to stick this panel on top of a standard card that's 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. And finally I'm going to introduce some purple at the center of my medallion just to finish off the colors of the rainbow. And um, for doing that I'm using my Nouveau Drops. I'm also going to use all the rest of the colors that you see on screen right now and I will add the little dots in between the leaves. So I'm starting with uh, the green one just outside the green, the yellow, the orange and the red at the end. And uh, I finally went with a sentiment from the same stamp set that says for someone special, which I white embossed on a piece of black cardstock. This stamp set creates beautiful cards and you can play around with different color combinations. For my next card I will be using hand-picked bouquet, which gives you this lovely image of a flower with a black line and the open space that you can use your favorite coloring medium to color it in. There is also a matching die, but it also gives you layers to use your inks and stamp inside if you wish. I believe that this is one of the most beautiful flower stamps out there. I absolutely love it and I especially love the fact that it gives you two options, both coloring in the black lines as well as using the layers. So for my card today I'm going to stamp the outline image with black ink and uh, then instead of using any other coloring medium I will go with the layers that are included. And I'm also going to showcase one of the new oval sets with a purple sage so you can see them in action. Now the flower has only three layers so I used only three of them. The lighter which is wisteria, I then used the middle one which is hydrangea and I finished it off with ultraviolet which is the darker shade. And again I used wisteria for the rest of the little buds. Now I'm going to stamp the layers of the leaves, there are only two layers for that and I used the tropical forest oval set. The lighter color I'm using is bamboo and then I'm going to add the darker shade with parrot. Now when you are working with uh, layering stamps it's always nice to use any stamping platform that you might have on hand and now I'm going to use the matching dies to run it through my big shot and cut it out. So it's time to put everything together. I have foam squares at the back of my flower and I'm going to place it on my card. You can see that I have a white panel there that I have already stamped the sentiment that comes from the same stamp set and I'm going to finish it off by adding some uh, gems here and there. So I went through my stash to try and find gems and uh, card base that uh, matched nicely with the inked flower. And here are some close-up photos. 
and Alta New keeps coming up with new gorgeous flower stamp sets. So here is one more from this release. These are called engraved flowers and there are matching dies available. I'm going to show you the leaflet here just to inspire you so you can see the beautiful artwork. This is not a layering stamp set. These are just images with black lines that you can color in with your favorite mediums. For this card, I'm going to stamp four of the images from the stamp set. I'm going to stamp them with black ink and then I'm going to color everything in with my alcohol markers. You can go bright and colorful with your flowers, but for this card I decided to reflect the colors of fall, so I went with browns and oranges. Now I'm going to use the matching dies to cut out all four of the images. And I'm going to use a beautiful sentiment from the same stamp set that says Life is beautiful with friends like you. I stamp that on a piece of white cardstock. This is a little panel that is slightly smaller than the standard card. And I'm going to use tape runner at the back and stick it on my card base. Now I have created my card base which is uh, four and a quarter by five and a half out of uh, craft cardstock. And I love how the craft color frames my panel and it gives that uh, warm and cozy look that I'm going for with this card. At the back of my flowers I have foam squares and now I'm going to play around and decide where I want everything to go. And once I'm happy I'm going to peel off the backing and just stick everything down. Finally, to finish off my card, I use my yellow Nouveau Drops to add some dots here and there, as well as my white Nouveau Drops at the center of the flowers. And finally, let's move on to the last card for today, using the Wild Ferns. This is a lovely stamp set that you can mix and match with other flower stamp sets that you might have. Here is a little bit of inspiration from the leaflet that comes with the stamp set. And today I'm going to create something very earthy looking that uh, creates a card which is perfect for men and women. So you can call it masculine if you like. There are three layers for each of the ferns and for that I'm going to showcase the new oval set that has just been released. This is called Green Valley and as you can see it comes with gorgeous uh, colors for your leaves. Now the fern has only three layers, so I'm going to omit the lighter ink, which is Firefly, and I will work with the uh, three darker shades. So I started with Grass Field, this is Shadow Creek, and then I will finish it off with a darker shade, which is Mountain Pine. And while I had all those layers on my Misty, I did uh, multiple stamping, so I ended up having six leaves at the end which I'm not going to use all of them, of course, but I needed some extras. Now I'm going to stamp the sentiment from the same stamp set that says hello, and I used Expresso ink for that. This is a, a panel that I have cut out using the watercolor stripes cover die out of uh, craft cardstock, and I'm adding some uh, foam squares at the back, so that I can stick it on a brown panel. And now all I have to do is to just play around with my different leaves and decide where I want everything to go. I can then use a glue or a foam squares at the back to add everything down. And I think this is a lovely card in earthy tones. And as I'm putting this card together, I want to remind you that just like always, you will find the full list of all the supplies that I used for today's card down below in the description area as well as on my blog. Also don't forget that this is part of a blog hub so if you go to my blog you will find all the details for the blog hub since there are tons of giveaways and lots of inspiration. Now finally to finish off my card and to add just a touch of sparkle I am adding uh, some uh, dots of glue on the leaves and then on top of them I'm going to stick some green gems. So here is the finished card and I think it would make a great birthday card for a man as well, depending on the sentiment that you stamp of course. So here are some close up photos on this card. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know which one of the cards that I shared today was your favorite and which one of the stamp sets that have just been released is a must have for you. So I hope you had fun and you got inspired, thank you all so much for visiting today. Don't forget to leave me a comment, to hit the like button as well as subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you all for coming and I'll see you next time.